Backed on by 3,000, making a real noise. Schalke travel to Wolfsburg, still in search of a returning Bundesliga win. Marius Bulter with two goals from the first two match days, looking to prosper again and make it a more uncomfortable start to life in the Autostadt for Niko Kovac. Wolfsburg's worst start to a season in eight years, and within the first half an hour, nothing really happened. But for a flurry of yellow cards, until Paolo Ottavio fired in from range to test Alexander Schwolo, a real stinger of a shot from the Brazilian, making his first appearance after his ACL injury. 44 minutes, the real drama started. Simon Torotta fell by Mickey van der Ven inside the area after the video assist was involved. Torotta stepped up and failed with his penalty. But that wasn't to be the end of it. The penalty had to be retaken, with Castells adjudged to have come off his line by referee Felix Weyer. Torotta against Castells, part two, and incredibly the same outcome. Castells with the 12th penalty save of his Bundesliga career, simply the best around. Torotta still waiting for his first Bundesliga goal of the season, having hit 30 in the Bundesliga 2 to spearhead shock at a promotion last season. Wolfsburg a lot better in the second half. Maxi Arnold's delicious free kick delivery was touched in by Gilavogi. However, Gilavogi was offside by a whisker, so no goal. Reid Labaku was brought on at half-time and he made a real difference, offering thread and pace down the right. He couldn't have hit this any better, but Alexander Schwolle with an incredible save to keep Wolfsburg out. And with five minutes remaining, Paolo Ottavio's cross was met by Baku, who should have scored. Yet again, Schwolle stood strong and earning Schalke their 500th Bundesliga clean sheet in their history. Stalemate at the Autostadt, but still both coaches looking for their first wins of the campaign. Schalke's fans will hope it will come on their next match day at home against Union Berlin.